Hey guys, um, how's it going? If you're in the UK, how fucking hot is it today? It's boiling. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it to be honest. It's not like normal. Normally I'm just like, I hate the heat, but I've been quite enjoying it. Um, <coughs> yeah, how are you all? I feel like it's just been so long. I went on holiday and I was going to vlog um, and I did film a couple of bits, but um, we, I don't know if anyone saw on the news, there was a flight from Norwich that had a 43 hour delay. That was our flight. Um, so we actually ended up missing the first two whole days of holiday. Um, so we were meant to arrive Friday night, but we arrived Sunday night. So then Sunday night was a write off because we just literally got the kids into bed and went to sleep. Um, and then we had all day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we got picked up quite early on the Friday. So we only had four days in Mallorca, which was annoying. Um, and I just didn't film because we were literally just by the pool every single day. Um, and we went to the beach one day, but um, the waves were massive and the kids didn't like it at all. They were really scared in the sea. It was really fun. Me and Ben loved it, but the kids didn't like it. So we came home. Um, hey, Binksy boy. Mwah. My Binksy boy is here. Hey, she's my baby. Hey, she's my baby. Um, yeah, so that's why there wasn't a holiday vlog, despite us going on holiday. Um, there was not a vlog because, oh, my baba. Who's just this baby? He's the most precious boy in the world. Oh, yes, he is. Um, <laughs> we um, we had a nightmare this week. We came back from holiday. My mum had house sit for us. And we got back and um, we realised the cats, all three indoor cats, had fleas. And we were just like, how does that even happen? Like, and my mum hadn't noticed. It's not her fault, obviously. Oh, he's just put hair all over my face and I'm all sweaty. Um... She hadn't noticed and it was just like, oh God, we'd missed one month of their flea treatment. And yeah, they somehow managed to get fleas. Obviously they haven't got them now, otherwise I wouldn't be like rubbing my face on him. Um, but yeah, I've spent all this week literally washing every single thing that can go in my washing machine, has been in my washing machine. My tumble dry broke as well. My nan bought it for me when I was 18 and I'm 40 next year. So it's done well. It's done very well for a hundred pound tumble dryer. Um, but it's finally given up the ghost. So we are going to repurpose it into a fire pit because I can't bear to part with it because it's from my nan. Um, um, yeah, but I must, I'm not joking. I think in the last four days or five days, I've probably done like 25, 30 loads of washing because I've had to wash everyone's clothes, everyone's bedding, all the fucking toys. My bathtub is full of toys that are bathed in, that I've soaked in flea shampoo. Um... The cats have had to go in the utility room. We've had to move the catio back over, put the, shut the utility room door and then shut the cats in there because the flea sprays can be dangerous for, for cats if they're in there. So um, um, we obviously flea treated the cats um, with the frontline stuff on the back of their neck. So they all, and we've been brushing them continuously um, and I haven't found a flea on any of them for like two and a half days now, three days. Um, so we've been like hoovering every bedroom and stripping every bed and spraying all the floors and um yeah it's just been an absolute nightmare my poor washing line like i don't know how it's still standing the amount of washing it's had on it this week um the house is just chaos absolute chaos um also i forgot to tell you we're moving um it's not uh it's, it's all going through the solicitors it's just dealing with it we haven't got a date yet um, but we are hoping for September, we, yeah, we're moving. So that's super fun and amongst um, all the chaos of general life. Um, well, we've got a new kitten. I'll take you upstairs to see her in a minute. She arrived two days after we got home from holiday. That was when I'd arranged to have her delivered and um, she had fleas also. Um, so she had fleas and then came into a house of fleas. Um, but she has now not got fleas, but she's upstairs. She keeps hissing at the boys. Um, um, excuse me sir, it's his half sister, his mum had another litter so it's his half sister um, not that he knows, he was the first one to hiss at her and then they all hissed at her once and then none of them have hissed at her and then she's just angry with all of them but the last two days I've been bringing her downstairs and she hasn't hissed so I think we'll be fine, we're just slowly introducing them and letting them get used to each other um, we bought a pool you're not allowed to judge my garden 
if you judge my garden, then we can't be friends. Bearing in mind, I said, tumble dryers died, the binks, I've just done continuous washing. I'm literally covered in cat hair. Um, and we've been having to hide the washing in suitcases because we obviously don't want to bring clean washing into the house. So literally the living room is like a safe zone because we did that one. Um, and that's the one only room downstairs that we can shut off. So that is what, there's like a pile of washing, like look. I'm not even exaggerating, look. Washing. Washing. Um, my shopping's just here. But look, that's full of washing, that's full of washing. That's my tumble dryer, that's all washing. That's a turtle and then that's our new pool. That's 12 foot across. I got it in Smith's Toys in the sale for 99 pounds. So and I was like, every summer for like the last, I don't know, four years, I've spent like 45, 50 quid on a swimming, a paddling pool or a swimming pool, like a six foot one, one of the blow up ones that has just popped or ripped and I was like, I'm not doing that again. And I saw this one and I thought, no, fuck that, I'm having that, I'm a beer hippo. Um, so today's Monday, Ben put it up, Saturday. And then, yeah, we just spent all day yesterday in it. And then as soon as the kids got home from school today, we were in it as well. Oh, and it's just amazing, I absolutely love it. It's so lovely. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's been hectic. It has been a hectic few weeks. Um, how is everybody? Let me know. What have you been doing? What are your summer plans? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to put this away quickly and give this boy a bit of a cuddle and then I'll take you upstairs to meet the new kitten. She has made uh, an appearance on my Instagram and my TikTok, but you may not see those, so I will introduce you properly in a second. Who's here? Chippy. Chip. Chippy. This. Oh, I'm trying to turn the camera around. This is Chip. She's a little baby. Mm. She's 13 weeks old tomorrow. Um, she's so cute. She's so cute, isn't she, Mika? Yeah, yeah. Um, she's currently living in Ari's bedroom because we defleed this room because it was the smallest and then we moved her in here so we could deflate the rest of the house and then when we can when she's got not got fleas but she doesn't now we can then deflate this one again um so we're just trying to integrate her with the boys um but yeah Mika's a bit poorly Fox has got hand foot and mouth um and Mika's also got it as well which is rubbish um and she was okay with it but she started to get blisters in her mouth now so she's struggling aren't you Bobby? So I don't think she'll be going to school tomorrow. What are you doing, Chippy? What are you doing, Chippy Chippy Linda? Chippy she's Chippy. My foot she's got the most amazing markings. Um, but yeah, she's Binksy's half sister. And she's very affectionate, isn't she, Mika? Mm -hmm. She's lovely. But she likes to fight like Binksy. Yeah, she likes to fight like Binksy, and she's always got her claws out. <laughs> Beep. Come away from the door because Ari's going to come in in a minute. Yeah, she's very cuddly. She was um, sleeping in our room at night time. I was literally like, I'd be asleep and she'd just be asleep right next to me. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, it's been a week. It's been a few weeks just caught the sun quite a lot if you couldn't tell i've cut my own hair the other day i tried to do a wolf cut and i've just fucking given myself curtains um <clears throat> um and the ends are wonky like they're two different lengths you can't tell because it's black now like the front half is blonde and the back half is black um so i need to go to a hairdresser and get it cut into a proper chop uh, yeah. Let me know what's happening in your life. She's sneaking around. Mm, she is sneaking. Chippy. Chip chips. What's this? Chippy, what's this? What are they doing? What are they doing?
me that little kitty. She put me in there.